Good morning from Kamakura, Japan, on this Tuesday, September 21st. 19 degrees on this beautiful autumn morning. Welcome to autumn. <laughs> yeah, Spunky and I were just back from our morning walk, and uh, oh, it was very pleasant, very cool, very nice. Let's take a look around the garden. First up is our Samurai Tiger Lily. They're pretty. Chlorophyll fix time. <laughs> There's Spunky. Chewing on leaves. As usual every morning. Okay, I think we're done here. I do see some more flowering here on the uh, cucumbers. But uh, I think we're done. And some more flowering on the tomatoes. Yeah. But I'm going to call it an end to this season. What have we here? Oh, it's a bit rotten. Too late. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to remove all of the ties here and start to dismantle everything. But before I dismantle this uh, scaffolding here, let's take a look at the okra. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's ready to be picked. Hope there's more than one. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, a lot of these are still tilting. This one here has, I'm going to leave this uh, as is since it's already bent. I don't want to break it down at the roots, so I'll just leave that alone. So you can see how pretty the flowers are. And we have another one over here. And another there. Yeah, I don't think this one's ready to be picked yet, so I'll wait on that one. Yeah, this one here I'll go ahead and pick. And I can use this in a salad or something like that. In a few days, we'll have a nice okra harvest. Yeah, I let this uh, cover stay. I didn't peel it back this time. Uh, just to keep the soil moist. Yeah, the okra are doing fine, even with it there. What's Spunky up to? And our green beans. How are we doing here? A oh, small plump one. <laughs> Any more? I do see some flowering, so maybe we'll get some more. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Oh, no, there's a nice long one here. I didn't even see this. So, yeah, and there's one over here, too. Okay, so let's get started on this task of removing these twist ties. And I'll save them for next year. Yeah, I have my trusty bag of twist ties here. So I'll save these and we'll use them again next year. So this is the, the tedious part. <laughs>
So I can reuse this bamboo to stake the okra. Alrighty, I think that'll work. This, this cluster here is standing pretty tall, but I'm going to stake it anyway, just in case. Here I have to double up on the twist tie to get it around the stake. Okay, so the okra is staked quite well. So we've got a lot of uh, growth coming in here. Yeah, I bent this uh, branch here, but that's okay. I'll leave it on so that this one here, this okra fruit here, can get uh, as much nutrients as possible. So, so everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking that. <laughs> I'm thinking I should have staked them a long time ago. My bad. Alrighty, and over here. My goodness, it's been, uh, what, uh, four or five months since I've seen this side so bare like this. <laughs> but uh, the um, peppers, one plant I accidentally pulled up, I'll show you that later. But I uh, still have three and they're looking fantastic. So uh, yeah, I've uh, learned some lessons uh, this season. Uh, for example, the peppers here, uh, I'm not going to put uh, netting around them uh, next time, next year. Uh, whatever kind of peppers I, I uh, grow. Um, and I'm curious to see if these peppers might last through the winter. We don't get terribly cold here, so I'm going to leave the plants in the ground and see if they uh, come through uh, the winter and uh, re-sprout again next year. We'll see. So I'm going to save the lower garden for another day, but I want to go down there and just take a look. Um, I did pull up the uh, zucchini plant. Um, but it dropped, <laughs> so there might be some flowers on there that I can save for a salad or uh, to stuff them or something like that. So I think the peppers will be okay. They're nice and staked. And I've got a zucchini flower. So I'll come back later and do the final cleanup. I'll bag the, uh, the mulch, the bark there, and save that for next year. I'll take up and throw away the uh, plastic weed barrier and uh, yeah oh, here's the uh, the ginger yeah, now they'll get plenty of sunshine and they'll be able to grow and finish out this uh, season morning's work is done and here are the fruits of our labor some extra tomatoes a zucchini flower and some nice peppers I'm going to hang these up and let them dry Quick look at our basil. What are we doing here? Not too bad. And over here. Well, looks as though we want, lost one of our papaya fruits. I was afraid of that. We had some strong winds yesterday. We still have one here. Uh, now, I don't want to take them inside yet because uh, so many ants crawling over it. So, yeah. So we lost one. It looks like we've got a new one coming in. So I'm happy with that. And more growth coming in up here. So. And uh, this looks like it might be another fruit. If you see the edge of it, uh, compared to the edge of that, it looks like another fruit coming in. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, I don't see it down below here. Uh, yeah, it was a bit windy yesterday. The winds were remnants of the typhoon that we had come through. So in a couple days, I'll plant some radishes here. And uh, we'll get out my weed eater. And weed, the, uh, the mint, cut that back, it'll come back next year. I'll clean up all of this uh, this week, most likely, and the lower garden. And this is where my camera overheated, so I'll show you our morning walk right here. <laughs> 